good morning students welcome to online physics classes today in this class we will discuss about magnetic moment what is the thing magnetic moment so previously in magnetism chapter also we are discussed about magnetic moment so once i am repeating that uh, concept now then i will go for this coming topic comes listen students in magnetism chapter in magnetism see in letter this is one bar magnet so in the bar magnet how many poles is present students two poles is present maybe this one is a north pole and this one is south pole in between these two poles some length 2l is present this one is present length 2l is present so each pole having some pole strength small m what is the thing here pole strength small m is represented here so we know the pole strength value and we know the length of the bar magnet in that condition we are represented magnetic moment is like this how we are represented small m into 2 nothing but product of uh, this pole strength and length of the bar magnet only we are calling as a magnetic moment in previous chapter we have revised so in last class we are informed its units also so in case of uh, SI system. This one is pole strength. Pole strength is represented in terms of ampere meter, and the length of the magnet is represented with meter. Finally, this one is having units ampere meter square. What is the SI unit? Ampere meter square. We are represented in previous chapter. So, if you are going for dimensional formulas, dimensional formula here you will represent a. Per ampere, L square per length, like this, we have represented dimensional formula in magnetism chapter. So, students, now we are in this chapter, moving charges and magnetism. So, in this chapter, this magnetic moment will be explained in another way. So, how we are representing that? But just once we will check it. See, students, we have different coils. Maybe this is I have taken one circular coil. So in this circular coil, that one is having this small bar. Let in this coil, I am taking n number of turns. How many turns I am taking? N number of turns I am taking. So this is one current carrying circular coil. So in this one, I think I string current is flowing like this. We are presenting. So here one more shape outside the presenting students. This is another coil. This is a present in square shape, having side A and representing. Here also, n number of turns we are choosing. So means in this one, some n number of turns is present like this. Here also maybe some I current is flowing. Is it clear how much current is flowing? I strength current is flowing. So now in this situation. Magnetic moment. How to discuss means here we have a formula. M value is equal to here n i a. Here a is we are calling as area. So simply how to define this magnetic moment in this situation? The product of strength of the current passing through n turns having coil and its area only we are calling as here. Magnetic moment It means a simply product of a current strength. Okay, in a n turns coil and its area only we are calling as a magnetic moment. See students, this magnetic moment is a vector quantity. So it is a we are calling as a vector quantity. This is vector quantity I am representing here. So now here also once observe carefully. Here one thing we have. The condition units, the SI units we are thinking. For n there is no units. So here for current we have units that is nothing but ampere. Area is having a unit in SI system that is meter square. So here ampere meter square. Previously in magnetism chapter also we got ampere meter square only. So now dimension formula here also I am representing here as a L square like this we are representing students. So here one smaller thing we will discuss. 
here in first case area means in circular condition area is equal to pi r square so in this condition magnetic moment m is equal to n i into pi r square we can consider about so in second case means in case of square okay what is the value of the area area is equal to here a square why this is here side of square we are taking as a small again therefore area of the square is a square we will represent then here in this condition m value is equal to n i in case of area small a square i am representing these are the few examples we are representing for magnetic moment okay students then we will go for one more topic now now this topic once observed clearly expression for the magnetic dipole moment of current flow what is the expression for the magnetic dipole moment of current flow this expression now we want to derive it see students consider this is one loop is present okay what is the thing students one loop is present in this one maybe current i is flowing so students here how many terms i am choosing n number of terms is i am choosing so one thing students this is the center of the coil so that center of the coil i am taken as the, okay that o and this coil having radius capital r how much radius i am taken students capital r i am representing here so initially the number of terms is present in circular coil having radius capital r in that form i strength current is continuously flowing this is rough information we are given see students in previous classes this type of expression we are clearly observed this is center this one is axis of the circular coil so that the, this one is we are taken as a, some distance x this one is having radius r so in this one current i is flowing okay this is one point p we are represented at this point p we have one thing that is a magnetic induction at p at the p b is equal to we are represented u not mi r square divided by 2 into r square plus x square whole power 3 by 2 one notation we are represent that is magnetic induction or magnetic field strength at p we are represented as b is equal to u not ni r square divided by 2 into r square plus x square whole power 3 by 2 students this is one fundamental formula so then i am representing here one thing okay if suppose x is greater than greater than greater than r means imagine students neglect the r square in denominator in denominator neglect the r square so how much value we will get here therefore b value is equal to we will get like this u not ni r square divided by here 2 into here x square whole power 3 by 2 so students this one and this one is cancel so finally we will get here mu not ni r square divided by here how much we got students 2 x cube like this we are representing okay students this is a one small information i am giving for you so in next step i am doing like this i am multiplying and divide with the five so i am simply doing multiply and divide with the pi so b value how much we get here b is equal to now u not m i here pi r square divided by here we will get this one is 2 pi x cube like this we will represent is it clear students this is first of all one notation i am representing here so next students observe b value is equal to u not then this one is n i instead of pi r square i am representing area capital a so since i am mentioning here since pi r square value is equal to i am taking as a capital a divided by here i am taking a 2 pi x cube i am representing 
the questions this is the thing so further i am mentioning one more thing multiply and divide with the two in rhs side so now this one i am writing b is equal to mu not 2 into n i a divided by this one is 4 pi x cube we will represent squares so this is one simple formula we have so previously in magnetism chapter we have one some idea that is in case of bar magnet this is a bar magnet i am taking means see in case of bar magnet this is i am representing like this this is the axial line this one is the center of the bar magnet this is having length l and this is one point p we are represented so here from center to that point p previously we are represented x like that so in this condition on axial line on axial line we have a fundamental formula b value is equal to mu naught by 4 pi into 2m divided by x cube we people know the thing students see where this is i am taken as a second equation and this one is i am taken as a first equation so in this situation this current carrying circular coil is behaves as a one small bar magnet by comparing this first equation and second equation here mu naught by 4 pi is present here mu naught by 4 pi is present here 2 is present here 2 is present in denominator x cube and x cube is also present therefore instead of m here which one is present n i a is present therefore by comparing 1 and 2 by comparing 1 and 2 we will get m value is equal to n i a so in case of oil okay here especially in circular coil how we are getting here m value is equal to n i a this is the magnetic moment expression in case of a current carrying loop okay students this is the condition okay students this is one more expression now i want to give proof expression for the dipole moment of revolving electron what is the thing expression for the dipole moment of a revolving electron see students in atoms at center which one is present nucleus is present this is nucleus uh, that you can imagine okay this nucleus i am represented with the capital m let imagine see students one more thing continuously in a circular orbits around the nucleus electrons are continuously moving so i am taking here charge of electron is e what i am taking here charge of electron is i am represented with small e so this uh, circular orbit uh, radius i am taking here small r what i am taking here small r is the radius of that uh, circular orbit now continuously this electron is moving is it clear for example in this uh, point uh, okay from this point uh, electron started this one is continuously going and finally it reaches this same point means it requires a time that only we are calling as a time period capability time period capability like that we can define so once i am representing one thing students by definition of current by definition of electric current what is the formula we know that is i value is equal to q by time here how much time we are taking students here okay that is uh, we are taking here as i is equal to instead of charge q e time period and taken as a capital this is also we can represent e into f also so here f is nothing but frequency frequency is equal to 1 by t also we will represent students like this uh, we are represented okay i value okay what is the thing students i value i represent so this is having the radius means one small information i will give here area of loop area of this uh, orbit or loop is uh, i am taking as a a is equal to 
pi r square we will represent. Is it clear, students? This is the one simple notation I am giving. So one more thing by the relation between by the relation between okay linear velocities and angular velocities linear velocity and angular velocity linear and angular velocity we have one fundamental form that is v is equal to r omega what is the thing v is equal to r omega we will represent students so students this is a v is equal to r into we have one formula for omega omega is nothing but what is the thing 2 pi f what is the formula for formula omega value is equal to 2 pi f we are representing so students here v into r omega that is 2 pi f also i am representing like this is it clear so now f value is equal to how much we can represent students f value is equal to v divided by r into 2 pi so this is one equation I am representing. Once we are go through this for a derivation, here this is first equation I am taking, this is second equation I am taking, this one is a third equation I am representing here. So by observing these three equations, further how to represent the concepts of carefully from 1 and 3, from 1 and 3, just observe clearly students. Here I value is equal to E instead of F1 I am representing here V divided by R into 2 pi like this I am representing. This is the I value clearly we know. So finally we want to find it which one the dipole moment we want to find. Which one we want to find dipole moment. By the statement of dipole moment M value is equal to only one term is present means I into V into R. I into area is the rotation. So M value now is here I value how much observed EB divided by 2 pi r observed and area is we have that is a pi r square. Pi r square is the value. So now this pi r here pi and r is cancelled. Therefore magnetic moment of revolving electron in an orbit is EV small r divided by 2. This is the main formula for this one. So students once I am going to one small case. Okay, how we will get that case means just I am multiplying and dividing with small m here. So in the condition capital M value is equal to E into Vr into M divided by 2M and represented students. So students this is represented as MVR. MVR is nothing but angular momentum. Angular momentum is represented with capital L. Therefore M is also being represent as E into capital L divided by 2M. What is the thing students here? L is nothing but angular momentum that is MVR. So M is being represented as EL divided by 2M also. This only we are calling this what's the name here expression for dipole moment of a revolving electron. Okay students, in next class we will go for new topic. Okay, thank you.